Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're just going to do a quick video follow-up to the CV axles and everything that was installed on Rose yesterday. Um, got some tires and a few other things, so please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. This is going to be totally separate. Thanks for watching. What is up everybody, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe and smush the bell notification icon for future updates. So we got two CV axles still sitting here as well as a starter. Um, two lower ball joints, two upper ball joints. Um, for Beast, that's what's sitting here. As well as I got extra Toyota parts just in case they're needed down the road. Um, I gotta call my buddy Eric um, from uh, Eric West Toyland Auto. Need to go get some spindles and stuff from him. Um, he's in Maricopa. But um, to yesterday's video, it's kind of getting dark pretty quick. So I uh, want to see if I can get this video done for you guys. So all this, all these particles did not come out of the front diff. Um, it's actually when I was prying the CV axles out. Um, it just fell into the pan. I missed 90% of the diff, front diff fluid because of the fact that I had where I had the jack stands. But this, this diff fluid is actually extremely clean. It's hard to tell. There you go. It's extremely clean. Brand new diff fluid from what I could tell that I ended up dumping out. Um, it, I can smell that it is Lucas diff fluid. Um, here's the driver side CV axle that I removed as well as the ball joint that I removed here's the old dust shield that got messed up when I removed it I'm this one is actually in great condition um, I'm just gonna pop these boots off probably but order a boot kit just because because this one's kind of got this weird pinch to it um, but clean these guys up put new boots on it fill it with uh, more grease this is the passenger side that I took out. As you can see it is uh, pretty pretty destroyed on the boot. Luckily, all the grease that's in here is in amazing condition. There is quite a bit of slop though, so we're gonna have to rebuild it. Um, but um, what's on the bench is a bunch of diff fluid for the front. Um, Rose is sitting here. I got brand new tires today. That's what this video is about. So these are 16 30 second tread. Um, they look beautiful. I love how they look when they're brand new. Um, these are the good the Wrangler, uh, the Goodyear Wrangler Ultra Terrain ATs. Um, these are uh, mud and street tires. Um, they're really nice. Had an alignment today as well on rows. Um, the reason I didn't do the CV axles video on those over there that are on the ground is because beast right here this is a sky that needs repairs but beast right here um that has the uh six inch lift um body lift and six inch suspension lift with 40s this truck um i need to rebuild the transmission and that's why the, the starter and everything is in there so um it needs a starter um, but the engine runs and everything. Um, so this needs CV axles as well. Um, they are, the boots are, are destroyed. Um, as well as it needs a rear skid plate, which I have. Um, this one doesn't have the skid plates on it yet. I do need to put grease in the ball joints though. Um, skid plates are not on. I need to reinstall those. Those are actually sitting in the back seat um, from yesterday i knew they were going to do an alignment and it was just easier to remove the skid plates for them um, so they could just do the alignment faster uh, these are the ones that i painted up um, but got brand new tires they look really good oh man it 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 rides smooth as glass no shake no shimmy um guys i took the truck too they got some really good spot on um 
on the uh, guys. They got really good spot on guys that got the alignment just perfect. Um, power steering is now working. You because um, before when I had the other tires, every once in a while it get really hard to turn. Even though the power steering rack, the power steering pump, and everything is new, and it had to do with the alignment was messed up, so it was just the steering rack was fighting itself. Now it just turns. You could you can turn it with your pinky. Um, so that's good. We got some stuff to do on Sky as well. I'm just gonna turn this into a, uh, several updates. I got new lower control arms all painted up. They're they're actually 20 year old control arms I took off this truck um, just because I was doing a front end refresh. Those were perfectly fine. There was no need for me to um, get rid of them because the bushings were fine. So I just repainted them. Um, so we got to put a control arm in. I need to go to Eric West Toyland Auto to get a spindle. Um, I have lower ball joints for this as well as upper ball joints um, for this side. I'm going to take these headlights off. I'm going to put them on rows. I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to build an LED kit for Beast and I'm going to probably build another HID kit for, for Sky. This is Sky. I already uh, tore the paneling down. I need to pull the the dents out of this, which I actually am thinking I'm just going to cut all these, uh, drill all these rivets out. I'm going to replace this whole panel because um, Eric Eric told me that I can come by his uh, his yard and I can um, cut the fender well and everything out, and uh, you know I'll re weld it in. Um, he's just told me he's he he's uh, needing to get a uh, a silver forerunner in and he told me he got one in so I'm gonna go over there um, and get the quarter panel it's gonna be easier to do that than bang this out it's pretty damaged and the way these are set up is the the well right here is also a part of it so um, you have to take that whole piece out and this piece is just super bent um, it's just, you know, you can see how bent it is. It's supposed to be facing the front of the truck, uh, like that one is right there. So, um, and he's got a hood for me as well. So, we got that. Um, after I got the alignment this morning, I uh, grabbed some stuff from Home Depot. Uh, so, I grabbed a couple rivet um, guns which is this stuff right here and some Klein stuff um, and a few other things, some extra rivets. And then I used my $20 off that I had at AutoZone, picked up this uh, cover because uh, I, I, I don't know why you can only get the headrests, the headrests in a kit, but um, so I had I have to buy one more of these just to get use the headrest because I have four headrests in the Forerunner um, for Beast. Beast needs this, so I pick. I need to pick up one more of these for Beast. I'll just throw the seat covers, fold them up, throw them in the back of the the seat pockets. That way they're there when they're needed. And I got five bottles, five quarts of um, SAE 7590 gear oil. This is what the 1996 to 2002 foreigners take for the front diff as well as the transfer cases. Um, so I picked those up. I dropped about, I'd say it was about a quart, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. It might have been, uh, might have been a little less than a quart um, out of the front diff of rows right there. Um, so this is what spilled out when I pulled the CV axles. Um, I'd say it's it's pretty close to <clears throat> it's it's pretty close to uh, I don't know a quart, maybe a, uh, maybe about a half quart. It did spread. The sidewalk is a little bit tweaked, but uh, I need to put these CV axles in these boxes, put them in the barn. That way I could just um, deal with them later. 
because I'm not getting rid of those. I'm going to reboot those, reseal those, and I'll have a spare. I'm going to do the same thing with uh, Beast CV axles that have the ripped boots. Um, I'm going to put those used ones that I took off of Rose, I'm going to put them in those boxes, put them in the shed. You, for 48 bucks, I can get um, boots to do, you know, because each one has two boots. I can, uh, for 48 bucks, I can get two, four, six, and eight boots to, to do um, four CV axles rebuilds. So I'm gonna rebuild all of those. Beast CV axles are fine. They just have an issue with the boots. Um, and um, I did the lower ball joints on rows. Upper ball joints are when I go to Eric's, I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna get the spindles, four wheel drive spindles that aren't rusted out. And that is why the upper ball joints weren't installed. They're actually here. There's four of them in here. Um, two of them go to Rose. Two of them go to Beast. And then I have the lower ball joints as a set for Beast as well. Um, so Beast and Rose are both getting upper and lower ball joints. Um, uh, Beast and Rose both have great um, upper and lower control arms. So those aren't needed. Um, we'll do a separate video on these as a reference video. Um, I do hope the information was helpful, everybody. Um, I picked up the, the bol both of the rivet guns that I picked up are just a hand pump, and they're both arrows um, from Home Depot. But um, I'll do a separate video on these. I gotta go pick up my wife from work in about 30 minutes. Then I gotta shoot back to Lowe's. Um, and then, uh, See if I can stop at another auto zone. See if I can get uh, two, three, four, five. I need three more bottles. I bought everything that the auto zone had. I need three more bottles of this front diff fluid, 7590. Um, the Forerunners, 1996 to 2002, take 80W90 for the rear. They actually take 90 weight, but you can't find 90 weight. So you're gonna have to use ADW90. It's the best, uh, next best thing. Um, <clears throat> uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I do appreciate you guys stopping by, hanging out with me today, checking out the video. Thank you guys so much um, uh, for watching the channel and stopping by. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJ Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. Um, and these uh, CV axles from Napa, they're the premium ones, 94-4013. I've I bought a lot of these and I've never ever had them different sizes. They're all very, very consistent. Um, and they're brand new for $91 a piece. Brand new starter. Um, brand new uh, blue and green style upper and lower ball joints and everything. Um, I already did a video on all the parts for you guys, um, which will be several videos before this one. But uh, I do appreciate you guys. Um, this little DCF 921 is what I use to take apart the suspension. Um, as well as I, I tighten the, uh, the ac CV axle nuts um, with this guy. Um, I removed them with this guy because it was a three quarter, required a 41 millimeter, three quarter inch drive. Um, and then it went to 35 millimeter when I, I put the Toyota CV axle nuts on, back on instead of the, these guys. I also did a video explaining that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. You guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Peace!